Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Dirty Red Gaming, where we take gaming and fashion, we match it together like it's some Play Doh. I'm Macho, aka Dirty Red. This is my channel. So it's Thursday, that means we got another tech review for y'all. And uh, for the past couple weeks, we've been taking a look at the Sony DualSense controllers. Uh, Sony's been having a Deep Earth collection of colors. And I want to say for the first week, we looked at the Sterling Silver controller. Then we looked at the Volcanic Red controller. And in today's video, we've been taking a look at the Cobalt Blue controller. Um, so I don't want to hold y'all up. Let's go ahead and get to the video. Okay, so we got the Sony PlayStation DualSense controller in the cobalt blue colorway. And with this controller, you get a couple of uh, features such as haptic feedback where your controllers vibrate um, to pretty much whatever's going on in the game. If you get hit or if you're driving a race car, if you're shooting a gun, you'll feel that vibration on your controller. You get the built-in microphone. You also have a 3.5 millimeter jack. And then with that, you also have a speaker built into the phone so that you don't even need headphones with it. Um, you got a multi-device connectivity where you can connect through USB-C or Bluetooth to Windows, PC, Mac computers, Android, and iOS mobile phone um, to just, you know, take your gaming on the go. But with other things, man, you can revise your game on Apple devices. You can pair the controller with your compatible iPad, iPhone, Mac, or Apple TV through Bluetooth. And man, you can just stream and play thousands of games on your PlayStation 5 using the DualSense controller. Um, but we're not really too concerned about that right now. We've done this so many times. We're just really interested in how the color of this controller looks and unboxing and getting our first impressions on it so i don't want to hold y'all up man let's go ahead and get into the unboxing okay so we have our handy dandy knife right here we got our controller we're going to get ready to unbox it um i'm really excited about this controller i'm not even gonna lie but my biggest fear my biggest fear is it's going to be close to the purple controller that's my biggest fear y'all see the purple controller right here you probably can't really tell that this is purple it looks blue uh, camera but uh, my biggest fear is how close it, how close of the, the colors are going to be this is the blue controller that they came out with um, last year it's like a baby blue and I'm not a big fan of baby blue so I'm really excited about this metallic metallic blue so let's go ahead and slice this open Sit So I just hope it doesn't look. I hope it doesn't look like a purple controller. And, 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 ooh, voila. Cobalt blue. So we have the Sony Dual Sense controller in the cobalt blue colorway and with the light i'm not even gonna lie it does look similar to the purple um, very close to the purple and that's the one thing i noticed about sony when they come out with these new controllers um they don't they don't reach too far from what they already got so this purple is purple you probably can't tell it in the light but this is a purple controller this is like a powder baby blue controller and then the closer I get to the the camera, you can tell the metallic color. My hands are a little greasy, but that metallic color. But when you turn it, it does kind of look purple in hand. And that was my biggest fear. You have this matte on the back, but you have this metallic blue. And let me see if I can put this close so you can see the purple on the back. But that's my biggest fear: is how close to purple was this controller be, was going to be. But I don't know. I don't know. I will say out of the, the three, and I'm probably going to do a video comparing all three of them with the cobalt blue, the volcanic red, and the sort of silver. Um, the red has been, even though I griped about the red, because it's so close to the other red controllers I got. Um, I do like playing with the red one for some reason. But hopefully this will be my new 
Deadly Driver, and we'll, we'll do a review of all three of them, comparing them to the other colors that Sony had came out with a couple years ago or a year ago. So this one I want to say is going to run you 75 bucks, and it was released with the... It was released in November. So the blue one was released in November along with the red one that was released in November. And then in January, the silver was released. And then that wraps up the um, Deep Earth Collection. I may need to do a little more research to see what the Deep Earth Collection really, what it means, like what these colors would mean, like red, maybe the sky, I don't know, blue being the earth, or blue being the sky, red being the sun, and then... I don't know what gray stands for the silver. But anyway, um, that's all we wanted to do. We wanted to unbox this, get our first impressions of it. And then in a week or two, I'm going to do a review on all three of them and just take a look at all three of them, compare, you know, see if it's worth even picking up or if you should just go with maybe a purple controller or if you should go with the powder blue controller. I mean, so either or, whatever controller you decide to go with, they're all going to be $75. Unless you get it from game start you for something like that. So anyway, man, I want to thank y'all for tuning into this video, this unboxing. It's nothing special about the controller. It's just, you know. And I think this is my last set of controllers, man. I got some videos, but it's my last set. And I think Sony plans on coming out with a, a version two with longer battery life. But then that I got some of the controllers. I'll probably just sell some back to the store if I want to swap them out. But anyway, man, I want to thank y'all for tuning in to the channel. Tell me what y'all think about it. Do y'all like this metallic blue, cobalt blue? Uh, but make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on the video. Got that rough matte filler, matte finish on the back. You can see that separates the matte to this shiny cobalt. But yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe on the video. Tell me what y'all think of the patroller man, and I'm out.